Hey guys, welcome to India Vacants. I am Karan Sharma and in today's video we are going to talk about why did India cut off the United Nations panel after a report on Jammu and Kashmir. So let's start the video. Recently, India has taken a big step by informing the United Nations Human Rights Council, a significant body of United Nations headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland, that it will no longer entertain any communication with the HRC's special reporters on a report of Jammu and Kashmir. For my brothers and sisters who do not know what HRC is, let me tell you, HRC is a significant body of United Nations whose purpose is to promote and protect human rights around the world but it is not entirely non-discriminatory it totally ignores the human rights violation happening in china pakistan syria north korea etc but ostensibly condemns and passes resolution against israel the three special reporters of unhrc had asked india by writing a letter to provide a report on the retributions given to the culprits of the so-called atrocities being done by our beloved Indian Army since 1990s in Jammu and Kashmir. But the Indian government responded to them like this. I'm not interested, yaar. And after waiting a while, they published a letter on its official website showing that Indian government is deliberately not answering it. In 2018, India had rejected the report and inevitably accused the then chief of UNHRC, Mr. Al Hussein, of having acted on his individual prejudices as he had not researched anything by himself and made a compiled report on the articles of Jammu and Kashmir which were unverified, unofficial, unknown, untrue and alleged India of violating human rights in Jammu and Kashmir. Wow! I mean believe me guys, he was so biased in his report that he subdued all the gruesome incidents happening in Pakistan. But on the contrary, he presented Indian Jammu and Kashmir in a bad light. I mean again wow. So here you can see the reply from the permanent mission of India to UN offices in Geneva. So what's the matter now? Now the UNHRC wants a report on the actions being taken by the Indian government against the human rights abuse in Jammu and Kashmir. But again the Indian government has responded to it like this. Karan Sharma. Wow. 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 So guys, thank you. I really appreciate your valuable time. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And if you really like the video, don't forget to pin down your opinions because your opinions matters a lot. So thank you.